and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Sagittarius. But I also want to let you know that I do your weekly you versus them tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Saggy, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But Sagittarius, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Sagittarius. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, Sagittarius, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, Saggy, I do want to say that, um, you know, a lot of people like look to my readings and just ask me, be like, Velka, what should I do in this situation? What is the right answer? And I just want to say that's just not my place to say because any answer that I can tell you would just be my personal bias, right? This is your life to live. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings should just be here to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider um, as you go throughout your life, right? A perspective for it's, I view tarot cards as a perspective provided to you to uh, help you think through a situation in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. So keep that in mind when it comes to my readings as well. Um, but if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, my Sagittarius, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And, and, you know, I just enjoy doing that, right? Um, also, uh, I would really appreciate if you were to take the extra time to give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always appreciate when you guys uh, take, that, take that extra time to support my tarot channel. So let's just get into your reading now, my beautiful Saggy. Um, You guys actually got a little bonus. You guys got two different animal cards. So that also means you're going to get two different numerology numbers um, for this week to look up later, uh, my Sagittarius. So the first card that came out for you was the cat spirit, number 13 equaling to four for numerology, Sagittarius. So um, this card is a card saying, claim your independence. So right off the bat, this is like a sense of like a call to action almost, isn't it Sagittarius? Because when you think about it, I can't help but feel like I keep on seeing, um, <laughs> I keep on seeing fire just being presented to me. So, I mean, obviously you are a fire sign Sagittarius, so you can just be like, well, obviously duh. But I'm taking this more so as a, um, some type of something that you feel extremely passionate about. And I can't help but feel like this is regarding some type of project, some type of work situation for most of you Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be though, my first impression. Um, I feel like this is almost, you're finally starting to take action instead of like constant planning in your head or constant just hoping, like trying to perfect every detail. You're almost, it's almost like you're finally, um, putting stuff out almost Sagi. So I celebrate you for that. You have also the Sandpiper Spirit, number six, uh, 51 equaling to six for numerology, actually. And this says, be playful. So it's an interesting message where it's like, you're being asked to claim your independence, but be playful about it. So it's almost like you're no longer taking things so seriously. It's almost like for a lot of you Sagittarius, you're finally in this place of appreciating life and realizing the game that life is. And you're just going with the flow of things rather than trying to be so... Um, hands-on and so tr trying to be so controlling of your life and the turnouts of events. It's almost like you're finally like adopting like a full energy almost, Sagittarius. It's almost like you're something unlocked and you're just like, ah, oh, right, okay, I can no longer, I don't have to be so serious. I can finally just create. So beautiful. Um, the tarot cards that we have for you, Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Swords with the Four of Discs as well as the Moon card. So for a while, Sagittarius, you probably have been in this state where you've been like, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with my life. Where should you invest your coins? Where should you invest your pentacles to further yourself in your life? You just haven't been sure about where to commit your energy almost, Sagittarius. And I can't help but feel like there's probably like been this sense of desperation almost to um, figure out where to put your energy. Um, because this Eight of Swords is like, you probably just don't enjoy your environment right um it's there's a sense of where it's like it's almost like you probably feel like you there's so much you feel and maybe this is still going on for you Sagittarius but it's like I keep hearing and that's why it's like stumbling with my words because I was gonna like ignore it but it's like I keep very loudly hearing where it's like you have to like you feel like you have to prove something to yourself 
um, prove something to others. Like it's, I don't know. It just feels like in the environment that you're in, uh, Sagittarius, you feel like either you aren't providing enough or you feel like you have to work super hard to provide enough to, uh, prove something to somebody, whether it's you or someone around you, like your peers. I don't know. There's just weird message, but it was being very pronounced. Um, and this moon card comes in. I do feel like, uh, Sagittarius that you kind of like had like an aha moment of where it's just like, um, something that you just, yeah, you know, I feel like you just had like a change of perspective or kind of just realized, um, the shifts that need to happen in your life. It's like you woke up and you're just like, I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy always being stressed out. I don't enjoy not creating anything anymore. And so you're doing a drastic shift and changing that. And confirming this, we have the tower card coming in. So <laughs> definitely like something has happened, some type of transition. I do get the sense that maybe you are in control of it, but yeah, I feel like you're the one in control of it, especially with this nine of rings. I feel like you, if you feel like if it's like a get your words out Falco it's like you finally swept the rug from under you or you finally were just like all right let's it's time to pick up camp um let's continue going right for a while you it's almost like you realized how comfortable you got in a situation or like just how um you felt like you're just tired of feeling stale in some way and you're just ready for a change ready for movement ready for travel for some of you such so um very interesting cards to have for your general spread. We'll probably refer back to them later on in the reading, my Sagittarius. But now, this is where we get into the fun, juicy part. This is where we get into the tea, honey. Um, we are now going to be getting into the rose of things, Sagittarius. So, what do I mean by this? The rose, we're going into your first row, which is my Sagittarius's career, um, finances, and all of that. And then the second row is going to be for my Sagittarius is interested in hearing about their social situations. This could be romantic, platonic, what have you. Um, no restrictions, just your social situations, honey. Um, and then your last row is just going to be uh, just some final thoughts and final cards that we tap into to close out this reading. So uh, let's just start out with your my Sagittarius's career and financial situation. So we have for you, before I pull clarifiers, um, we have the Two of Wands, as well as the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. So this is kind of like a similar message with different cards, Sagittarius, from your main spread. Because it's like, you've, you've been weighed down. Like, I, I don't, I, and I hope I'm not offending some of you Sagittariuses, but, um, I get this, the storyline that I'm getting with these tarot cards is somebody that really hasn't felt like they've had much forward progression or like extremely slow progression in terms of some type of project for their career and just even financial in general. Um, and you just have been in like the state of being like, is it me? Do I need to like get my own strength? Do I need to feel more empowered in a situation? Like is, you, you probably, be, I can't help but feel like you've been, um, instead of looking at the load that you've been carrying or looking at the environment that you're in, um, I feel like you've been internalizing it all. You've been internalizing the stress. You've been internalizing and being like, oh, why am I feeling so fatigued and tired? Why am I feeling so weak? Is it like, why am I not progressing further? Um, and instead of realizing the baggages, all the extra baggage that you're carrying and other things, it feels like you're just internalizing and being like, oh, there's something that you, Sagittarius, are not doing. And so that's like a red flag, honey. That's not something that you want to be doing. You want to get out of your head about that. Um, because I don't feel like this is a situation that it's about you, Sagittarius. I feel like this is more so like, um, it's going to sound weird, Sagittarius, but I can't help but feel like there's this sense or calling to do something on your own. I can't help but feel like there's something that you've been trying to make work, um, and like trying to be like the leader, right? The Emperor card comes in as a clarifier for your Ten of Wands. So it's like you're trying to like lead like a pack and it's just like taking up too much energy trying to tend to everybody's wands when you should just be focusing on your own wand here, Sagittarius. And I feel like you kind of know this as well. Um, I feel like some of you guys might be even cringing in this moment because you're just like, oh, I don't want to hear that because you really want to make something work, right? You're, And I keep seeing you trying to like pull somebody along in your path and being like, no, come on, like you keep on walking. But notice what I said there, Sagittarius. I said your path, not their path. So there is this sense that you kind of have to learn to let go of whatever 
baggage and you know baggage sounds aggressive but i don't mean in that way obviously what's weighing you down and that's clarifier of your two of wands the wheel of fortune comes in that's when the wheels start turning for you i really do feel like <laughs> the what's been impeding in you receiving some abundance uh, really manifesting um some positivity some growth in your career my Sagittarius, I really do feel like it's because you're trying to bring along too much. I really do feel like this, just doing something to, for yourself, for like doing something for yourself, just by yourself, rather than trying to always be in a group aspect. Um, something that I always see the cat spirit in a different animal deck that I have. The cat spirit also is a representation of codependency. So you might, some of you Sagittarius might have a little bit of codependency issue where you don't want to do something on your own for whatever reason. Maybe you don't feel like you yourself are entertaining enough to, I mean, you know, whatever, or talented, like whatever you, that thing is, right? It feels like you can't, I, you'll, you'll know if you know, right? I don't need to go into it further, right? You get the point if it's meant for you. Six of Wands, or Cups comes in with the Eight of Wands. So this is what I'm... <sighs> Sagittarius, I can't help but feel, you know what? Let's pull a couple more cards. Page of Coins and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is pr definitely going to be for a select few of you, but I can't help but feel like um, a different offer comes in for you that really boosts your self-esteem, right? With the Six of Cups talking about some type of offer, Page of um, Pentacles comes in as some communication, a pentacle being extended out. Um, offer, again. Um, with the Queen of Wands, it's almost like a new um, opportunity that's kind of just for you. Um, that's just like, that's tapping into your own talents and not really... I don't know. I feel like this, you're just, something's coming. There's just like this calling to just do something on your own. And like, I feel like an opportunity is going to present itself where it is just you, right? But you have to let go of whatever this 10 of wands baggage is to fully commit to that energy. So very interesting. We're going to close out that row now, my beautiful Sagittarius. And now we're going to get into these social situations for my Sagittarius's interested in hearing about their social situations. So Let's pull these cards, my Sagittarius. And uh, the cards that are following you, this is confirming to me from your career because I do feel like it's connected in the cards that we pulled um, before you and show you, Saggy. Um, I do get this sense that some per a new connect, like someone's like, there's someone that you can work with, Saji. And I know this, this has been like a, something that's been popping up for you for quite some time, Saji. Um, as some type of collaborative energy that you've been wanting to collaborate in some way. And I feel like some type of opportunity is finally coming in for you. Um, the cards that we pulled, the Queen of Wands following you again, right? We had it before with this. Still just following you, honey. Still just getting that Queen of Wands. Still just talking about this passion. Um, let's me know like how... Um, encompassing this passion of yours is like this probably like your life um this project wherever it is that you feel passionately about it's like all you think about all you care about um and then we also have the emperor card following you as well as the six of wands so my saggy even if you look at these cards and the meanings and um <laughs> so you can like know that I'm not just trying to gas you up. Um, these cards are really spelling out and where it's like once you break free and claim your independence, this is the victory card. This is the spotlight where the spotlight is just on you, honey. It's, you're not sharing that spotlight with anybody else. And I just enjoy like I know this is not going to be like a message that some of you Sagittarius want to hear that you're kind of dreading hearing. And you probably deep down already know this. Um, but I find this to be so beautiful because it's like, it's almost just like because you've been making this choice working along with energies or bringing along other things that dim your light, you're finally uh, coming in to claim your power. And it just is such an empowering feeling when you see the success that comes um, from it. So you kind of realize that you had it all along. It was just a matter of like going about it the proper way. So let's now get some clarifiers into this, my Saji. We have coming in for your clarifier, the Queen of Wands the six of swords so yeah in order for you to get this queen of wands moment for yourself you have to walk away you have to move on put some distance between what it is that you're currently dealing with with that ten of wands right such an such a continuous push my sagittarius of like really going out on your own a little bit of solo energy 
the Emperor card coming in, um, well, the Emperor Clarifier, rather, comes in with the Six of Pentacles. This is definitely what brings things back in order for you, you know, Sagittarius, of where it's just like that leadership. I'm just laughing because it's like the messages are just being repetitive at this point. But like, it's such a good thing when it comes to tarot having it be repetitive, Saji, because it's really letting you know from spirit being like, really hone in on this message, message right? Really pay attention. And the clarifier that we have for your Six of Wands is the Nine of Wands. All just passionate cards, by the way. We're just getting nothing but passion. Passion, fire, fire, fire. You know how I saw, I saw that flame earlier, honey, and we're just getting nothing but wands. This is powerful, though. But yeah, Nine of Wands is that card of, like, yeah, this is the card, if you even go to any of my other readings, I reference this card as, like, the card of where it's, like, you, Sagittarius, acknowledge that you have to go this part, take this part of your journey by yourself. So constant emphasis of just you doing something on your own. And I feel like it's, that's just like the essential part. That's what's been like slowing you down, Sagittarius. Stop feeling like there's something that you're lacking in. Really, the only thing that you're doing wrong is just not honoring yourself more, putting a spotlight on your own talents and instead trying to put, show off everyone else's talent or show you know or like just trying to make it work with like things that just like slow you down trying to be a leader for everybody else or you should just be a leader for your own life sagittarius all right so <sighs> interesting didn't we have the moon card come up for you yeah we did have the moon card come up for you before so the final thoughts final clarifiers for this reading overall my sagittarius we have the queen of pentacles coming in so this is another card of just like tending to the self thinking for yourself um this very beautiful card of self-sufficiency sagittarius this is a beautiful card of someone that knows their worth and only will settle not they won't even settle they will know their worth and they'll still ask for more and that's the energy i feel like you need to exude sagittarius and i feel like that's the kind of people that you want to surround yourself with it is like more queen of pentacles energy where it's just like everyone's self-sufficient so you're not having like no one's having to lead or support like you always of course want to have support support one another that's the purpose of having friends right but it's like you don't have to like be someone else's like motivation to do something better with their life it's like you're surround yourself with people who are self-motivating and get motivated by other people's motivations for themselves right and stop trying to surround yourself with people that they have to it's almost like you're trying to fight for other people to be to want to be a successful to want to be successful too like you it's like you care more about you care more about everyone work like going further in their life than they do almost the lover's card and the moon card comes in more so again emphasizing like some type of big decision being revealed to you some type of potential opportunity um coming in for you that you have to make a choice about um sagittarius this is such an interesting reading just because it's like your entire reading has just was was literally just catered towards you just breaking free on your own tapping into your own power really um, no longer allowing anything else weighing you down. It's just about you, yourself, and you, <laughs> right? And I feel like, it's as strange as it is, it may sound, but I feel like it's going to resonate for you, Sagittarius, is, is that, like, I just can't get help but get this impression that, like, you guys haven't really... Obviously, you guys are independent. Um, I do feel that, especially with how self-motivating you are. Um, but I can't help but feel like you haven't really um, experienced only having you or thought about and are even entertained having only you yourself being in the spotlight and only you yourself doing something for yourself and being successful at it. It's almost like you always kind of associated your success or just like further development in your life with someone else when in actuality it's just you um, like that creates that success, right? You don't need other things. You don't need outside sources. It's just in you, Sagittarius. So beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, this is the cards that I have for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to share this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below that you enjoyed this reading. And then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, my Sagittarius. Um, also, I would really appreciate it if you shared my videos with a friend, right? Because, you know, if you enjoyed this reading, then maybe one of your friends would enjoy this reading, right? Logically. But I love you so much, Sagittarius. And let me know how this works out, honey. Let me know what you are uh, working on, Sagittarius. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Sagittarius.